Sometimes it's not the milk floats that let you down, it's the people. So here I am in a random railway station. Answers on a postcard as to which one this is in Southampton. Um, meant to be picking up a Hyundai Santa Fe. Um, at least it's not a milk float. But nevertheless, it's been abandoned and so have I. So here I am in a railway station, 200 miles from home. And we've no way of getting there without getting a train to, uh, well, I've got to go to Romsey, then I've got to go to Sol Salisbury, then I've got to go to Exeter, and then I've got to go from Exeter to Snorstall. So it's a nice little six and a half hours on a trains, you know, it's going to be fun. But it gave me time to think, because uh, the car I delivered was a Audi A5 convertible. Beautiful thing. Very pretty to look at. Lovely to drive. And it occurred to me, where are all the convertible milk floats. There you go. Question of the day. Where are the convertible milk floats? So I googled it. Turns out they can't make them. Um, they're too heavy. And uh, they don't pass the anti-roll tests. And that's the reason that there are no convertible milk floats on the road. Or at least that's the reason that they give in the mainstream media. I, however, have a different theory. Convertible's really fun to drive. You can put the roof down, you have the wind in your hair. Oh yes. You get some lovely fresh air in your lungs and you enjoy driving around in a car with the top down, enjoying everything that nature has to offer whilst driving a bloody good car. Because very few convertibles are bad cars. All right, the Peugeot 206cc might, uh, might change that a bit. And that, for me, is the main reason there's no convertible milk floats. Because the one thing you don't associate with EVs or milk floats, it's fun. They're just not designed that way. They don't look fun, they don't act fun, they're not fun to drive, they're not fun to charge, they're not fun to own, they're not fun to run, and they're not fun in any way whatsoever because fun is the last thing that anybody wants. And the tin foil hat going on because they don't want you to drive. They don't want you to drive anywhere. So they're gonna make cars or make the manufacturers make cars that make you not want to drive. And therefore, the last thing you need is a nice little convertible, even if it's a milk float, because you might enjoy it, and you might go further, and you might have fun in it, and you might enjoy driving, and you might think, I quite like this. And that is not the agenda that we are dealing with in any way, shape, or form. The fun police are out. It's got to be an SUV or it's got to be some futuristic brick drawn by a five-year-old with wheels from Blake 7. No, not Blake 7, not Flash. What's the program I'm thinking of? Six billion dollar man? No, it'll come to me in a minute. Oh, futuristic program in the 80s. Anyway, answers on a postcard if you know the program I'm talking about because uh, I can't think of which one it is. But um, nevertheless, the fun police have decided there are no EV convertibles in the world because that way you'll be happy and you ain't got no place being happy unless you're in your 15 minute city, not going anywhere, not doing anything, not traveling, not enjoying yourself, just being some sort of laboratory rat pushing the bar for your next universal credit so that you can stay in your 15 minute city and do as you're told neat locusts. Well, arse to that. I'm never ever gonna not own a convertible again. Luckily, I got me spider, Trigger's Broom. That's a convertible. I mean, it doesn't work, it's got no MOT, but it's still a convertible, and I'm gonna keep that forever. Just to stick two fingers up to Klaus Schwab and the rest of them, and say, no, I will enjoy driving, and I will enjoy the whole experience, and I won't be chained to a milk float that I have to charge up 24 hours a day just to go to the shops. I ain't doing it. So there you go. My theory on EV convertibles is that don't exist because they're too much fun. And for the same reason, you can't get a two-seater sports car either, can you? They just don't exist because they're too much fun. Unless, of course, you want to spend 250 grand on a McLaren, then you can have one. But that's just for the rich people. The poor people don't get to have fun. They just get to do as they're told. So that is my tinfoil hat-wearing theory 
on milk floats not being convertibles to two-seater sports cars. Prove me wrong, future my arse.